Today, we're building a trigger switch for a headset microphone. This should be a really fun project, so please stick around for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. You can help us out by hitting like and subscribing, or keep the mission alive with your support over on Patreon. Well, I recently purchased a Heil BM-17 headset to help out with my portable operations. Sometimes while working in a campground or in a public area, I don't want the noise associated with the speaker or I want a more hands-free operation while on the air. The Heil headset gives me a good quality set of headphones and a mic element that is always properly placed in front of me for the best audio pickup. Normally, if I'm home, I'll use a foot switch to operate the headset. This is a pedal I picked up in a, at the bargain bin in a music store and it works great in the shack, but I don't want to take it out into the field. Heil makes a trigger switch for that purpose. While a, while a very nice product, I figured I could do something myself and save some money. So digging through my junk box of parts for my trailer solar project, I found a little single pole, single throw momentary switch. Perfect! I can build my own trigger. With a little more digging, I found some uh, multi-conductor wire and a one quarter inch phono plug. Now all I needed was a handle. Lo and behold, a one half inch Schedule 40 PVC tubing will fit inside of a rubber bicycle handle grip. Take, uh, taking a trip to Target, I got a set of ergonomic handles for about $10. So with the parts I had on hand lying around in the shack and a purchased handle grip, I put this trigger switch together for about $10. If you want to build your own, I'll put, a, I'll put a parts list in the video description below. Otherwise, here's how to build your own headset trigger switch. First off, for parts, you're going to need the following. A bicycle handlebar handle. You can find these in the bike shops, discount stores, or online. Get whatever style pleases you. A single pull, single throw momentary switch. A short length of 1 half inch Schedule 40 PVC. One 1 half inch PVC cap. One 1 quarter inch mono phono plug. And a length of multi-conductor wire. Two conductor wire is best. I had some four conductor wire lying around, so I chose that. For tools, you'll need a wire cutter or utility knife to strip the wires, a PVC cutter or saw, a drill along with a step drill bit or properly sized standard bit, vice grips to hold the cap while drilling the hole, and of course, a soldering iron. To make the trigger switch, we will first need to cut the PVC. Measure the handle as you will want the PVC to stick out about an inch. For my handle, that was about five inches of, of PVC. Cut the PVC and then insert it into the center of the handle grip. This is the hardest part as it's gonna be a very tight fit. I ended up <laughs> pushing, on it, pushing on it on the floor with my weight to get it fully inserted. Next, drill a hole into your PVC cap. Check your switch to see how big of a hole you're going to need. Mine requires a 13 32nd inch hole. Make a mark in the center of the cap and clamp the cap with your vice grips. Using the step bit, drill a hole into the cap until it is at the right size for the switch to fit into it. Next, cut about a six foot piece of wire, or however long you want it to be, and thread it through the bottom of the handle grip up through the PVC. My handle had a little vent hole in it and the wire fit through perfectly. If yours doesn't, you're gonna have to make a little hole with your utility knife. Now here's the important part. Pull the cable through the little, uh, through the little nut and the washer for the switch, and then the cap. I didn't do that the first time and I had to re-solder my switch. Now trim the outer 
trim away the outer jacket of the cable and strip two of the wires. If there's a braid or shield, you can trim that away too so that doesn't short circuit the switch. Solder the wire to the leads of the switch. It doesn't really matter which direction as this is a single throw switch. You only have two positions, on or off. Once the wires are soldered, you can assemble the switch in the cap and tighten up the nut. After doing that, I added a zip tie about five and a half inches down on the wire. This will help uh, prevent the wires from being torn out of the switch if the cable gets pulled. Now do the same thing with the plug end. Run the wire through the cap of the phono plug, strip the wires, and then solder them to the tip and the ring connection on the plug. Again, it doesn't matter which goes to wet what, as we're going to be using a single throw switch. You only need to complete the circuit. Once that is done, screw everything together, and let's test it out on the radio. And that is pretty much all you need to do. You know, if you're thinking about building a trigger switch uh, for your headset, you can do this in about an hour. And like I said, the parts cost was minimal. The most expensive thing was the handlebar grip. Everything else I was able to scrounge up around in the shack. Looking online, I found a 10 pack of switches for about eight bucks. And you can pick those up and in no time, you'll have a junk box as diverse as mine. Or, you know, ask a fellow ham if they have some little switches in their stash. Or maybe even watch the ham fest for once for a switch and a plug. Yeah, that's how I amassed my parts collection. And, you know, looking at this, if I was going to do anything different, you know, this, uh, I would probably try to shorten the little bit of, um, you know, space that this, this cap takes. But otherwise, you know, it's a pretty ergonomic fit. Uh, and I'm kind of happy how this project turns out. And that's how you build your own custom trigger switch for a headset microphone. If you have any questions or comments about the project, well, please leave it in the comments below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, you know, maybe yours will end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. But for more articles and information and VHF, UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Also, your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Support us on Patreon to help keep the mission alive. Give us that thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This your, your, specifically if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. That's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.